Guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video here on the Loud and Proud channel. If you guys saw some of my previous clips, I think I'm gonna put them in here. The Ford started to have some rough starting. And in the last couple of weeks, I've been diagnosing it, getting other shops' opinions, asking questions, trying to figure out what in the heck is going on with this thing because trucks seem to run great, drive fine, you know, everything worked, crews and all, like just everything worked. Everything worked in the truck great. And then it started hard starting real bad as soon as it started to get real cold. And I thought, okay, it's gotta be glow plugs. And then all of a sudden I'm driving down the road and this is about two weeks ago. And I pull over, little old lady on the side of the road, cars broke down for some reason. I don't know what happened, but for some reason her battery died going down the road. And one thing led to another and I just jumped her car and I was in the Ford, I jumped her van and that seemed to do it at least at that point when I was there and her car started back up and she drove off. As Soon as I get back on the highway, truck just stalls out, didn't die, but it lost like tons of fuel pressure and almost died. And then it just like stalled. And then I started the truck back up, drove fine for about a mile and then it stalled again. So then I just had to drive it at like 10 to 15 miles an hour to maintain fuel pressure and to not stall the thing. And now it was at a point that you know, I was trying to diagnose things, calling shops again, like I said, asking questions, trying to figure out what's going on. Because I didn't want to like take the truck to a shop and have them like do all their testing and have it sitting there for a week with them trying to figure it out and then just racking up a ton of hours, you know, at a hundred dollars an hour trying to figure out what it is. So I was trying to do my best and take you know four or five, six days and try to figure it out myself in terms of what the problem is. So that way, if I take it to a shop to have it done professionally, at least then. I can try to save them a lot of time, which would then hopefully save me a lot of money with getting that fixed. Because anybody in the diesel world knows you go to a diesel certified shop just to do repairs, it is always expensive. It's like, it doesn't matter what you go to do, you can take it for a freaking oil change and brakes, it's gonna be a thousand bucks. Like every single time, I don't know how, but it just always is. I got pretty much nowhere with the thing and I would plug it in, didn't make a difference. Cycle the glow plugs longer or a couple of times, didn't make a difference. Handful days back now and I just decided I don't have time to deal with this anymore because we're gonna have a winter soon and I just need this truck to get done. And it needs to be running like a top when this guy picks this thing up, so I just, called a local tow company. I said, hey, I don't want to drive this truck to the shop I need to take it to. I want you guys to tow it because I don't want to take a chance of breaking anything on it. I said, okay, they came, picked it up, paid the couple hundred dollar bill to get it hauled over to the shop. Got the truck, looked it all over. They've had it a couple days. They said, okay, so here's the things that it needs. It needs a cam position sensor or camshaft sensor, one or the other. And they said that all the glow plugs are bad. I'm sure that has something to do with why it's super hard starting all of a sudden, but like if they were all bad, that would mean that they would have had to have been bad for a little while, or at least most of them had to have been bad for a little while. Usually, at least, from what I know about them, is it's usually like a, a few will go bad here and there, and then eventually the, they're just all bad. Needs new glow plugs, new cam position sensor. They're gonna replace the serpentine belt on it too, because they said, oh, we can just tell it's wore out, it needs to replace. I'm like, okay, cool, just replace it. They're doing that right now, so if you guys are wondering where the OBS is at when I call the winner here, I'm gonna inform him of all of this stuff here. I haven't had a chance to talk to him because he just got drawn. We're gonna give him a call here and uh, congratulate him and then let him know what's going on with the truck. That way he knows because we're trying to make sure that all the stuff that just randomly started happening, literally the day after that giveaway ended, I started having these problems with the truck. But that's how it is, you know, we're not doing brand new trucks, we're trying to find super clean old trucks and that's kind of a pain in the butt because they might be super clean but it does not mean that every single nut and bolt has been replaced to brand new and that it's never gonna have any normal wear and tear stuff that needs to be replaced. So that's the name of the game, you gotta have that stuff looked over. When you find crap, you just gotta fix it. So, anyways, let's give him a call here and congratulate him on his new truck. And I'm actually setting the camera here on the next upcoming truck here, but uh, for now, you're just gonna have to look at that beautiful five speed dually in the background. So let's give Derek a call here. Hello. Hello, hey, what's going on, man? How are you? Doing good, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, congratulations, man. Thanks, it really ain't set in yet. Well, I'm sure it's not gonna set in until you're picking the truck up. <laughs> That's crazy. That's usually the way that it goes. I got that phone call. I actually went deer hunting that morning when I got off work. And I was asleep when they called me to tell me. So I was freaking out all night at work, waiting on them to open up so I could call them back. You have any success with this deer season? No, not yet. I had a few nice deer on camera, but just was working. I ain't really had a lot of time to get up there to connect with one of them. Have you wanted an OBS for a while or is it just kind of something you just thought, eh, what the heck, I'll try for it? Well, I like the truck and I, I when I placed my order, it was like two hours before 
it actually ended. I kept debating on it, debating on it. I was like, well, I'll just do some Christmas shopping on there while I'm on here. I never expected at all. Oh, man. For which I've watched you on YouTube for a while. I've seen it, but never thought that I would have come close to having a chance to win. The guy that won the last one, his dad's like, man, he's like, I don't believe in gambling, but he said, Son, I'm going to give you some money. Go buy me a Powerball ticket. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. No, it's worth a shot. I mean, if you got the luck rolling for you, then go with it. As soon as that truck's ready to get picked up, I'll shoot you a text, and then uh, we can set a date and time for you to get up here and grab this thing. Okay. Sounds good to me, which I'm usually off on Saturdays. Okay. And I could, if I had to miss a day of work, I could miss a day. Yeah, it's no big deal. We'll figure that out. Sounds good, dude. Well, hey, congratulations again. Thanks so much for Thanks. placing the order and supporting the brand. And excited to see you get your new truck and get that title in cash and get on your way home. Me too. I can't wait. Heck yeah, dude. Well, hey, you take care. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next one. We did get another truck. And we've got some special plans for this baby right here. Oh, man. I gotta... Shoot. I'll give a little teaser. I already gave a teaser at the fact that it was a second gen, but bam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and the dash. Okay, that's like it's. <sighs> Man, so take your guesses down in the comment section below. What do you think the exact configuration of this truck is? Unless I showed too much of it in the background, I don't know. You might be able to like, guess every single thing about it. But take your guesses in the comment section below. But in the meantime, you can get entered to win this beautiful 1997 12 off Cummins Dually with a five speed manual transmission that also comes with $5,000 in cash. And if you order right now until Sunday night, on our new app, which by the way, we've had for a couple months now, but we're still trying to get you guys recruited onto that thing so you guys can check it out. We're gonna be doing some new stuff and expanding that app soon. But for now, it's basically the online website version, but it's on the app so you can get like exclusive discounts. We send you notifications every now and then um, and a whole bunch of different stuff. It's way faster to place orders and shop. It's so simple because you don't have to like, you know, go through as many pages and tabs and look up the website or anything like that. You just click our app, boom, you can see what giveaway we have live right there on the app. Enter it, bam, you're in. And uh, it enters you the same as the website. It's just way faster and way more convenient. So if you want to download our app, the links I believe are always in the description below. If not, if you click the link to go to our website, there's a tab in the corner that says download our new app. You can click it and you can click on the Apple or the Android model of the app and tap it, download it. You're good to go. It's got a five star rating on Google and Apple. People are loving it, so go check it out. And if you use that app right now, there's a discount code on there that you guys can use, and it's gonna get you a lot of entries for anything you buy in the app. But that deal is gonna end on December 11th, which is this Sunday at 11.59 p.m., and then the deal we're running for that app will be gone. So right now, even if you've already got it, or if you're a new app user, you can download the app or just use the app use the code on the app that we are offering right now and get tons of entries for using the app. Man, I said app so many times. So app, 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 app. Okay, bye.